Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the top four of the Sullis Galactic Championship Qualifier. This is Gold Squadron's premier online championships. And right here we have Christopher, a.k.a. Crispy Patrick, versus Jeff Moore. First Order versus the Empire. This should be good. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, James Ritter. And shout out to all of our players this weekend. We had, I believe, 90-something players sign up for this tournament. And I am looking forward to two seeing you everybody play at 92 people sign up for the tournament and we have in july july the 16th i believe if i'm not mistaken july yes july 16th is our next galactic qualifier malachor it is happening during the western europe time zone so i want to see more of those uh, I want to see some Europeans come out. I want to see some Americans raiding over there. And, uh, and we'll see what we get, what comes out of the dust of battle. That is going to be Malachor. All right, James, it's time for everybody at home to choose their champion. But before we do that, we do got to give away the points from last round. It was player one who picked up the win last time, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see. I would say the last few games, player one has been the winner. Let's see if the trend continues. Everybody at home, choose your champion. Let's break down some lists. All right. Uh, so we have uh, Christopher Crispy Patrick with the first order. He is flying Kylo in his modified tie whisper with the enhanced jamming suite, shattering shot, instinctive aim Predator, Concussion Missiles, Advanced Object, and Munitions of Failsafes. And he's bringing uh, a pair of pairs in the Thai FO Fighters and the Thai Bombers. Uh, starting with Commander Malaris in the Thai FO Fighter uh, with Marksmanship and Cluster Missiles. And Scorch with Predator, Fanatical, and Advanced Optics. And then uh, the real heroes of this list, we have Dread in the Thai FO Bomber. It has Electro Chaff Missiles, Skill Bombardier, and Proximity Mines. And then, to round out the list, another Thai FO Bomber in Grudge with Elusive Automated Target Priority, Electro Chaff Missiles, Skill Bombardier, and Proximity Mines. Gotta love it. I don't it. think we saw any damage go down, right? No, not yet. Not okay. yet. All right, and on the other side, we have a TIE Swarm plus Vader. Or is it Vader plus a TIE Swarm? It really depends on what happens here. Darth Vader in the Defender with Malice, Juke, and Cluster Missiles. Could be dangerous if we see Vader out there trying to pop multiple ships at once. Though, I would say um, Christopher's uh, Crispy's list isn't too conducive to that. You just got to watch out for when those FO bombers start getting a little bit low on health. That's usually inevitable. Then, he's brought with himself a TIE Swarm led by Aiden Versio with Ion Cannon and Precise Ion Engines. Watch out for that ionization. That could be key, especially against Kylo low ren we have the isb jingoists they're two point tie fighters absolutely fantastic potentially dishing out depletes and strains to enemy ships at range zero to one so watch out for that then we have wampa probably i think one of the most uh popular ships in the empire we're seeing it quite a bit uh if yeah. left alone it can really uh it's it's the scorch of the empire right it's very kind of similar in function um like it's 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 priced well and uh why wouldn't you bring it especially it being at two points then you got why valen not go ahead I said why not it's uh, such a great ship exactly and then valen rudor um uh, a, sh a name that we normally haven't said might be a, a newer staple with uh with the ability after a friendly ship at range zero to one defends after damage is resolved if any you may perform an action but it is time to get into the action because we have ships engaging here at the satellite array Let's uh, let's take a look here. Votes going in, by the way. Crispy is on top right now in the voting, 60 to 40 percent. We had the chaff clouds go down. Grudge hanging out next to it. 
trying to cut off that lane. Jinguis hops over with the two bank. It's going to be facing off against the FO forces here soon. Uh, yeah, Jinguis jumps over and says, awesome, I cleared that. Wait, you have proximity mines. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. The, the, and uh, he's the, like, the... I was like, I'll... Go ahead. I'll just bear roll, and it was like, oh, no, you can't, because that's a that electro chaff cloud is also an obstacle. Can't bear roll onto an obstacle. Correct. But, I mean, the, honestly, the, the thing is that the proximity mine would have happened either way. If he would have been blocked, uh, you would have just seen the boost and then the drop. Yeah, boost, yeah, drop, yeah. Uh, and you know what? Like Even if even if he's able to destroy Jinguist this turn, Grudge can still boost right and drop it on Aiden. That's right. Uh, Iden takes a jam, hit. breaks all locks, and takes a stress because it rolled the hit. Mm-hmm. All right, and we're starting to start getting a little bit of a bump train. Oh, bumps into Iden. No uh, damage there. Take a damage, yeah, but it's gonna have a you know okay shot at Grudge. Wow, Mallor is coming in hot. That is gonna be aggressive. Able to get, <laughs> yeah, going to get those cluster muscles off at the Jinguist and Aiden. And Kylo coming in even hotter, lining <laughs> up that bullseye onto that Jinguist. Man, that Jinguist is not long for this world. Nope. Yeah, you, you, you Jingo no more. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, your Jingoing is done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, so I... I think Kylo might slap down maybe just the evade, honestly, um, in case Vader comes in uh, looking for something to say. Yeah, uh, he take, opts for the focus. Okay, focus and jams Dread uh, to give himself the extra agility. Say what? Oh, no, jams, jams, yeah, jams Dread. Um in case uh, he does get shot. So because he has somebody jammed in the, vis in yeah, the vicinity, yeah. yes. Uh, Forgot Vader, about that. Vader thinking that he might get trapped if he goes too fast, but goes up for the three bank and ends up bumping himself because of all of these, uh, the chaff missile screwing up his plans. All right, Vader's up. Okay. All right, Vader ranged two into grudge. And get three dice because of the obstruction. I got hit crit blank on the roll. Vader modifying the blank with his ability and grudge oh, whiffs on that. Hit hit elusive. crit. Oh, elusive gets to try again. No, no, denied. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we get. Shield, shield, crit, blinded pilot. I mean, Grudge didn't really come to shoot missiles. He came for Bombas. And Tycho 1707 drops 20 subs, getting us a 233. The action keeps going on the board and in the chat. Range one attack, hit, crit, spend for two hits and a crit. And it looks like that Jingoist is going to have to spend the focus to live. Oh, going to spend Aiden charge there. Okay. Okay, cluster into Aiden. Going to be obstructed, so four agility here. And that's two hits. Spend for three with Malrus. Uh, and takes, single evade takes, takes two. two. Okay. Ladrian's the next drops in the bucket, getting us to 238 in subs. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Instinctive aim concussion missile into Aiden. Uh, just gets three hits. Three hits. Once that ability is used, that's an expense. Oh, my goodness. Shattering shots. There it is for four. <laughs> and and Aiden takes three and Aiden. goes down. Uh, I don't think there's any concussion to flip over. We already have blinded pilot on Grudge flipped up. 
Okay. No consequences. Okay. Uh, wow. That was a big shot. All right. Aiden goes night-night. That was the most expensive TIE fighter at three points. Okay. I might see the Jingoist go here. And he's going to go probably put a strain on Malaris. Mm -hmm. Zero to one. We have to throw that Jingoist up there again. I uh, can choose to either remove a green token or take a strain or deplete. Okay. Hit, hit crit. And hit crit will end up going through due to that strain. And we got a stunned pilot. Ooh, Obstacles. That could be dangerous with all those the, 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 cha the, 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 the chaff clouds, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. The next Jingoist coming up. Should be a range one shot. So what's the what's the question okay, here? Okay, hold on. Um, one second. All right, James has a direct line into the room, so he's getting us the information. We'll find out soon what's going on. Shout out again. I saw I saw um, Lambolo make the call saying he could not do it on his own. Would you help me get us to that 300 sub mark? Tycho with the 20, Ladrian with the 5. Hit crit on the attack. Single Takes crit gets through. Another crit. That's a wounded pilot. Going to have to roll. When performing actions, potentially getting stressed. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think Grudge is a pilot anymore. I think the ship is flying itself with all those pilot crits, blinded right. and wounded. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I came here to drop bombs. That's I'm not right. shooting anybody. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Valen has a range three. On with scorch. marksmanship on Scorch. And gets a single crit, but no damage. Yeah, so the question was, um, does the Jinguist choose strain or deplete and then, and then give the option to remove a green token instead? And the mm -hmm. answer is yes. One hit. Man, plenty of squiggles there. Dread not dealing any damage, but again, he's a he's a bomb carrier. He came to bomb. Okay, Wampa. Yeah, no shots. Okay, scoring. It looks like. So I think the Empire is gonna have one on the top, and Fo gets two. Yeah, tie, yeah, tied in the middle. Uh, so Fo gets two, Empire gets one. Again, that is assault at the satellite array. You have to be within range one of the objective tokens, and uh, if they're contested, whoever has more ships gets the point. Or if you're tied on the number of ships, uh, then you share it. Of course, this is not. We're excluding the medium and large base. Uh, rules which say that for the case of assault on the satellite array, medium ships count as two ships, and large ships count as three. Is that right? No, it's still kind of just two. Just two. two. Yeah. They're not that yeah. thick. Yeah. They're not that thick. Got it. Wow. Uh... Shout out to Axion dropping a couple of subs.
paying it forward. Okay, we're probably we might see a boost right and a three bank launch of the other chaff cloud from dread. We are at an even two forty. There you go. Balance. Yeah, which actually I didn't is that early is crazy. Yeah, I didn't I didn't being popped was uh unexpected. Yeah, Vader in a terrible position does not want to go over that cloud. A quick note for our subbers. Uh so we are giving away the regional dice. That's happening for sure. And at 245 at 245 would be another GSP mystery box, which is the prize before the Ahsoka. Okay, well, I think the Jingoist is going to take a big proxy mine right here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't didn't get cleared off the board before. Has a has a chance to uh, to do that now. Yeah. Didn't if not take any now, damage then that round. Mm -mm. And I like the uh, that bomber's position, Grudge, because it's going to be in a spot where the Imperial ships are not going to be shooting at it. Like it's going to have yeah. time to come back around and uh, potentially clear that wounded pilot. <laughs> yeah, dropping that. So we we know that that's in range. Takes one damage for sure. Let's see what the dice say. Any extra damage? And the answer is yes. Uh, yeah, just dead tie. Clears them off the board. No more Jingo Django. Well, there's still another one out there. Not no, it's just number Jingo. two. I'm uh, sorry, I didn't say Jingo <laughs> Django. It's just a Jingo. Jingly, jingly, jangly. Five straight chaff launch using that skilled Bomba Deer. So seven to one, Crispy in the lead. Wampa getting aggressive now, five straight. It says, I'm done playing games. Let me I've, shoot somebody. I've come to womp you. Womp womp. Okay, fixes wounded pilot on Grudge. <laughs> also five straight with Valen. Uh, does not get his ability because he needs to do... Oh, that's... The, uh, so, oh, uh, you're thinking, thinking about Night Beast. Yeah, yeah, I am. All righty. Ooh. Bumps into Grudge there. Yeah. We'll have a range zero attack <laughs> and avoids yeah. avoids the uh, the chaff. Curious to see where, where – I was hoping that, that Grudge gets in a spot where uh, he doesn't get shot, but we'll see. And those uh, – there we go. That Ooh, is man. Commander Malris trying to help out. Does he have arc, or is he is no. the arc in front? Yeah, yeah, he went a little bit too fast. Too fast. Ooh, yeah, we see the focus jam action from Kylo Ren. What a great ability! Focus j j jam. Because of the bullseye, remember you can range two bullseye jam.
Oh, Vader lands lands on the cloud. Rolls for stress. Takes a stress. Mm-hmm. Has a decent shot at Malaris though. <laughs> Malaris takes mm -hmm. that uh, ability again to the glitter stem like effect. Token up. Can Vader take out Malaris? Ooh, interesting, interesting question. Uh, Epionic in the chat asking, would the proximity mine stretch to Vader? Mm, I think that's a bit short. Well, I think if he boosts right and then drops it with a two, it might. Oh, you're right. Bombardier. I forgot about the skilled bombardier. Yeah. I completely forgot about that one. That's close. That bombardier is quite skilled. All right. All after all of the sad Vader noises, we're going to enter the engagement phase. <laughs> you, get, you get stuck in ruler mode. <laughs> it's going into Kylo here. All right, so this is going to be through the cloud, so obstruction is happening. Uh, One hit only. Are you willing to spend your force? Just one. Rolls enough. Of evades. He, he, he said, he said uh, Malaris probably is going to dodge this. So he's, he's, go, of... he's going for the, for, the, for the Hail Mary. I get it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bullseye shot into Wampa. That's going to be range two, three on three. Kylo's got to focus. Only a single hit. Predator, though. Predator reroll. And advanced optics. Oh, for three. That's how you turn heart garbage into, uh, into something usable. Does end up taking right. two damage there for Wampa. Wow, using the ability on Kylo Ren. I forgot about this thing. Uh, what? Uh, before an enemy ship in your bullseye is dealt a face down damage card, you may spend one force if you do that damage is dealt face up instead. Oh, well, I... Oh, and it is a weapons failure. I've never... I, I completely forgot that Kylo Ren has an ability to be... I'm being uh, honest. Yeah, yeah, me too. I was like, I, like cool, I, I have three force. But he spends both force here on he was, Kylo. He was digging for that double, digging for the double. He Got was. a weapons yeah. failure weapons and disabled failure. power regulator. Wow, on Wampa. He wanted Wampa. Gone. And Valen Rudor gets an action. Takes a little shimmy shimmy. A little barrel roll towards the bottom. Uh, gonna force Grudge to take a strain due to the Jingo stability. So this would be a two on one attack. No dice. No, literally nothing. And here is Grudge, excuse me, Dread, trying to do some damage here with his two dice pea shooter. Spends the focus, got two hits. We have Wampa. Has a weapons failure, so, man, sad Wampa. One. Dice, TIE Fighter, one on three. He could pretend like he could maybe do some damage. That is unlikely, friends. And that's safe. All right. Assault at the satellite array. Objective tokens. 
Looks like FO scores one. And I just scored a tasty, tasty drink. Thank you, Arwin. Thank you, Devin. Okay, any other damage dealt? I don't think so. I think that was it. Uh, Wampa ionized, though. And weapons failure. Wow. And that is that is due to the disabled power regulator that he took yeah. from Kylo's ability. Yeah, crazy. I have never seen it used. But, uh, Neither have I. Yeah. Try, trying to fish for those uh, crits, though. That's I mean, <laughs> Go fish. I wonder if, I wonder if fish Malice again. would be really good on that. Um, I need to read Malice again. Why for an attack you may spend? I think the, pr the problem with doubling down there is because Malice generates crits, but you're having to spend. Like, if you spent on your attack and you spent Malice... You know what I mean? Like you're spending. Yeah, but but like, okay. So if you spend mallet, if, if let's say you start with three force. True. And like like he did here, and you have, um, if you use malice on one of your focuses, and then force two more cards to be flipped up, you're tripling your chances to pull a pilot and recover two force. True that. True that. So. But then you wouldn't yeah, have that's... gotten a shattering shot concussion missile. Well, this this round he didn't do it anyway. But I want it all, you know, James. I want it well, all. Well, well, shattering shot concussion takes two force, so. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> With instinctive. Thank you. That's what I mean. My daughter is a cheetah yeah. cub. Is what I've just been informed of. Uh, she is uh, walking around on all fours. We're in the top right, four let's... game, final ones after this. So be ready for uh, who that you, action. Who do you who do you think a grudge is gonna drop the bomb on? Mm, I mean do a boost, drop it and figure it out later. Yeah. You can drop it with the two and try to reach out and touch Vader. Mm-hmm. Like you know Clear you that know that you'll you'll clip the the jingoist. Like that's for sure. For sure. Yeah. But it's like, hey, if you can, now and that's it'd be, it'd be cool. But he, here's <laughs> a, here's a question. I know that Vader, obviously, big puncher, right? In assault on the satellite array, does the jingoist like getting the jingoist off the board potentially have more value than doing damage to Vader that might not end up mattering? Because you're ta you're taking it, a, a ship yeah, off the board and you you have could. areas of control. Good. Shout out to Limited Lifespan for the sub getting us to 241. Okay, so we're gonna he's just gonna drop it on the jingoist. That's a safe move. So you're taking away Jeff's ability to uh to to actually play the objective, which is what you're looking for. And got it again! <laughs> Clears <laughs> another TIE fighter off the board. Wow. Uh that's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good upgrade, like mm -hmm. that one upgrade killing two Tie Fighters from Grudge. Wow. Jinguist okay. dropping to the proximity mines all over the place. Now coming in coming into this event, there was a lot of talk about rebels. There was a lot of talk about Defender Vader. Mind you, we have one here on the table. But I feel like FO is um is performing that, that's what, on on the last podcast, I, we we basically were trying to make way too early pre predictions. And I was talking about like FO like nobody's talking about it. And I yeah. think yeah, but their their cut rate was incredible. Um, out yeah. of four, out of fourteen lists, three of them made cut. Yeah, like that's that's pretty solid. So we will. Uh, I will look upon their career with great uh, excitement. 
Separatist also had a pretty great cut rate, um, along with Rebel Alliance. Um, two out of eight Separatists, and three out of 13 Rebels. Mm-hmm. And there's uh, another chaff sent out. Does end up hitting his own guy. That's okay. I think I think he's okay. Dread has not taken any damage yet. Oh, I oh, said the quote wrong. Vader. It's interest. I will take great interest in your career. Vader going to go ahead and do the boost. Trying to get a little bit of space here. Does get an arc on Kylo. Uh, Kylo's going to get his additional agility dice. So uh, four at range three. All right. Two hits coming in from Vader. Now we had one die out of the box. So just roll the one. Add it to the pile. That's good. One hit and uh, two hits and a crit. Malice, malice for a second here. crit. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Okay. So spends one force, but still takes two critical damage. Luckily, Kylo still has shields. He's going to spin the focus and take two shields. Wow, big hit. Kylo trying to exact some revenge here. Back arc has oh, choices between do you, do the you one hell. I think I just saw him spend the force. Yeah, he sure yeah, is. is. Concussion missile at Vader. Hit. Uh. Crit, no more force, so that can't be spent. Takes a shield. That's going to be one shield remaining for Vader. Blinking him down, one away from half. Shout out to Vigilante DJ. Two years of subbing right there, the 24th month, and got us to 243 subs. Valen Rudor is up. Okay, range three marksmanship on Dread. One hit. One, yeah. One Gets evade. Evade. Range two. Dread just been chilling. One hit. Hasn't been, uh, he's been helping with some of that chaff, but hasn't uh, been too impactful yet with the lasers and the bombs, but he's, he's going to be in play soon. Hit crit. Uh, Womp Wampa gets to shoot two dice like normal. <laughs> One squiggle. That'll take a shield. Yeah, I remember okay. that is Wampa's ability minus weapons failure. Yeah. And that center objective is contested. The bottom one was won by the first order 11 to 1 okay um it looks like dread does not have a great um vector to drop one of those proximities i suppose he could boost left drop it with a two and try to catch wampa being silly but I think uh, I think he's spooked off the Empire from being in the front or the rear of mm -hmm. these bombers. I agree. Uh, looks like Vader has a pretty good path to follow on Scorch or Kylo. First time chatter, Net John P says, "Great game." I agree. This is this is uh, 
this has been a little bit tough for Jeff. Do you think, a little bit of speculation here, I feel like the chaff clouds caught him by surprise. Yeah. Um, and, and I think every game that we've seen on stream, they have caught people on surprise. Yeah. Because, like, like, how, like I've, I haven't even seen it on the table yet. Mm -hmm. Um and 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 uh crispy has is so 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 practiced with these chaff clouds um we saw earlier him drop it with the three bank and then do the four straight with the ship and he knew that it was gonna hit he knows um so like just that extra practice and proficiency with mm -hmm. these chaff clouds and proximity mines has really uh really given these FO bombers a lot of power. 100% agree. Shout out to 312 Squadron. Our man, Nick Sperry, doing the work. Who won the 312 tournament today, Nick? Or was it was it a one day or a two day? I don't remember. We had a local tournament here in Chicago. Uh, Will was there. Did he get the dub? There we go, the proxy mine using skill bombardier. Drop it with a two speed maneuver. Hopefully Wampa remembered. He did not remember. Right, Wampa goes down. All <laughs> almost all these TIE fighters going down. Three of these TIE fighters going down going down to these proxy mines. Double focus. And gone. All you needed was the one from the proxy mine. Three for three TIE fighters on those proxy mines. Seems like yeah. pretty good rates. Yeah, well, with Grudge, um, that last one, he only had one health left as a kill. But uh, with Grudge out there, being able to reroll those dice, if they do miss, they didn't. They, they both got two hits. <laughs> But uh, being able to re-roll one of those is a pr pretty good consistency. Consistency. All right, we got the Cess, the Signor's loop from Dread, bearing back into the center of the board, ready to chase down Veda. We are at 244 subs. Once again, we are on the precipice of another mother prize. One sub away from the GSP mystery box. Vader three banking. I don't know if you noticed, Dion, but that's the first evade that Vader's had this entire game. Yeah, he was he was in Jam City, Jam City, and Net John P gets us over the edge. We will be giving away a GSP mystery box as well as the regional dice in the next break. It's a range two shot for Vader, staying aggressive. Crit, focus, okay. eyeball, spending force for two. So One's malice. malice and ability. That's going to be double crits. Okay, two or a crit coming in after the shield. And it is a ship, so no malice. But it is a fuel leak. That is risky facing against Vader. Vader's only got to pull through a single crit. And it has malice, so it's pretty consistent with those crits. And shout out to Yellow Jacket Pim as well, helping out getting us to the promised land, the 245. All right. Looking at the board state here, more points racked up. We are at 15. Two is Je Does Jeff have a win condition? He uh, needs eighteen. I mean, with Vader on the table, there's always a win condition, especially with those cluster missiles. Um, but he has thirty minutes left. 
But these FO are going to be able to score some objectives um, pretty quickly. Uh, I think I think like I think this turn um, they'll be able to grab two, maybe three. I mean, you need some magic situation where you can maybe take out both the bombers at the same time, or maybe like Kylo Ren and one of the bombers. If you get like Grudge, Grudge and Kylo, Grudge and Kylo, Cluster Missile, Pop Pop, that gets you ten. Which, which leaves you close. And do, try to do another couple cleanup. Of course, the other thing is you got that ticking uh, clock in the objective scoring as well. Yeah, exactly. Like I think if there were no objective, like if this was if this was um, chance old chance old chance. Yeah. Um, I think Vader would have a pretty decent chance at getting uh pulling pulling this game back but i think with the that ticking time of the objectives i think it's going to be difficult wow Ooh, that was a little risky right on the edge of that uh that asteroid oh sorry uh, it's, is it debris it's debris it's a debris but yeah but yeah yeah great uh wow these uh these tie bombers have barreled into lock Neat. Crispy at this point is looking for offense. Uh, Dread trying to close still the door. Has, Dread still has a proximity mine in the tube, uh, so will not be able to boost and guarantee it this turn if he does the lock because it's a stressful maneuver. Here's Commander Malrus. Might have room to barrel roll to the left for a shot under Valen Rudor. Seems like that's Ugh. the target. Yeah, I don't think he does. Did he moved the lock just to take take a closer peek. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's room there. Focus rotate for Kylo. Vader with the one bank. And a boost. Trying to get out of Scorch's arc. It's close whether or not he did. Wow, range one unobstructed to Valen here. That's going to be three. Natty's baby. And that was optics and and the force in order to get to three there. No shot for Scorch. And Vader is just barely out of the arc there at the bottom of your screen. All right. Valen, arrange one attack on to Dread. Trail mix for two hit crit. And looks wow, like Dredd we're dealing a direct hit. A direct hit to Dread. So with that, fifteen to two. Scorch. Dread and Grudge all sitting at two hull. Do we have enough time to see some cluster missile work? I don't know. Single hit. Wait, one hit and he has the evade. And I don't believe Grudge has a shot. Does not. Objective scoring. We're going to get at least one for FO. I think that might be it. I think the other ones are contested. Looks like they're double checking the objectives. 
Well, uh, Valen has another action if he wants it, which would be barrel roll. But I don't think he ah okay he could he could barrel roll and try to do something with that objective. But um, yeah. Tests it in the center. Ooh, and on Vader the bottom. Vader grabs, yeah. Vader grabs that left one, though. So, one to each. There you go. Trying to keep pace. Still behind. 16-3. So, we have the final coming up after this game. Do we have a result in the other game yet? Let's take a take a quick uh, peek. Let's take a look. Not yet. So we have a potential for an FO uh, FO versus FO final, FO versus separatists. Or if Jeff can find the way. Imperial versus separatists or FO. But Jeff is the last breath of the Empire. The last scraps after Operation Cinder. Grudge, two forward. I think, honestly, just chilling with objectives is, uh, that, that's what that kind of feels like. Phantom Rudor left and is now bumping into Dread. Has an option for stress focus. Takes it. That Scorch trying to come in and be a part of the solution. Going to reach for Valen Rudor, likely, on the attack. Takes a focus. Malaris going towards that corner objective. No more Vader only. Hey, Marsh Glyph in the chat. Long time no see, friend. So Vader did the 4K, which may take him out of objective range. It is really close. Yeah, I think he's got to boost back in. Yeah, boost to the left. He does yeah. it. So at least contesting. All right, can he take out Malaris? Taking that shit a pretty off good shot. Yeah. Taking the ship off the board does guarantee you at least one objective point. Ooh. Actually, yeah. If, if he can... Oh, no, I think Malaris is the right shot here, but we'll see. Crit, focus, Malaris. blank. He's going to use Malice and a hit for hit, crit, crit. And single Jukes. crit is going through. Needs the double. Oh, but it'll kill him with the fuel leak. Wait, that's the wrong ship. Didn't he go into Malrus? No, he went to Scorch. Oh, he did do he just, Scorch. Yeah, yeah, Got yeah. it. He was like, well, if I can get the fuel leak, then it'll be kill. Got it. So Scorch goes down. 16-6. A range. Uh, it's an instinctive aim and concussion missile. Range 2. Through it'll the probably obstacle. probably add the shattering shot as well. We'll see. Ooh, yeah. Terrible, terrible His roll. munitions fail safe. Look at that. There you go. Like, yep, we're just going to cancel that out. <laughs> yeah, let me see. After you defend. Okay, yeah. I do think that Valon still gets his ability. Yep, he was he was chosen as a, as a, to be attacked. So he gets an opportunity to do something if he wants. So it looks like he didn't take a stress focus earlier. Now just taking a normal focus. 
Malris shooting back at Vader. Vader still has one shield. Hit crit. Has a lock and doesn't get a conversion. But neither does Vader, but he's got a evade. Single critical damage will be on the shield. Mm, did we did we miss something? Yeah, he's he's blinded. He's not. He's stunned. Oh, he's yeah. I guess he's blinded. My bad. Oh, it's stunned. It's stunned. Oh my goodness. Looking at the wrong ship. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Sorry, man. Shake it off. Shake it off. Single crit. Double evade. Objective scoring here. Is that going to push Crispy up to 19? One, two, three. Contest. Yep, 19 to 6. I mean, okay, that this is the last round. Yep. I mean, the this is gu guaranteed game for uh, for Crispy here when looking at it. As long as he keeps one ship and an uncontested objective, he has won the game. It's impossible for Vader to score uh, 14 points in this last turn. Thank you so much to Jeff Moore for playing, and congratulations to Christopher Crispy Patrick for getting into the final of the Solus Galactic Qualifier. We'll let him finish playing it out, but this one uh, is this one's in the books for sure. Someone asking, did Vader lose the? the shield or not yeah he he lost his last shield yeah uh vader getting no cluster missiles off this round or this whole game mm -hmm. uh pretty rough but that's what that that's what the chaff gods are supposed to do they're supposed to deny the uh, it's very, strike it's very thematic. List. It did his job. Yeah, here we go. We're going to see another TIE fighter go down. This Valen Rudor? Yep. Yeah. And right, that's going to be two hits. Grudge. Digging for the third one. Nope. He doesn't get it. The first time. Oh. Is you've come to expect it at this point. I know. I wanted a four for four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang master better uh, knock on wood. Dang master 85 saying winning my winning all my bets so far. Might want to knock on wood. We still got one more game for you to be wrong in. <laughs> Valen turning one to the left. Focusing. Trying to get... Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Not on something. The uh, <laughs> there you go. Just cut to come to come away with something exactly. A little bit of satisfaction out there. Just boost boost jam. Get in no it. for you. Kylo going straight at Grandpa. We brought you some jam, Grandpa. Happy Father's Day. Looks 
So Vader will go ahead and break the jam. It is ceremonial at this point. Two hits. Vader spends for three, trying to get a little bit more. Got two evades. One critical damage does end up going through. The onslaught will continue into Vader. Range one from Malrus. Just to crit with marksmanship. Safe. Cat Pat and Psych J7 with the subs. Thank you so much. Also forgot to shout out X Ace87. <laughs> Double blinks for balance shot. Theme attic. And with that, Crispy's going to the finals. Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.